Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everyone, but before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Maldi Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out, and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about the two tips and tricks that I have been recently been doing. Now these two are really casual and it might help you for your project, but one of them might not, okay? So the first one that I'm going to show you is how to make your theme go dark. Now most of you guys already know how to do it, but some of you who are new don't know. So all you got to do okay is go to your name okay go to your home page first then go to your name over here and now click on a drop down menu then go to account now this is your account over here all you got to do is scroll down keep scrolling down until you see your preferences which is your theme and go over here and it stays dark now you can change it to light if you want to or dark if you want to, it's totally up to you. And that is how you change your theme. Now my next one, okay, and my last one is how to hide your token code. Now I know a lot of people have been asking me about this on how to hide your token code. Now, on Repilot, okay, it has been updated because back then you could use .env. But now they have blocked that, and now a lot of people is using config.json. But unusual is that config.json hackers still can go into your config.json. So you need to hide your token code away from hackers. So all you got to do, okay, to hide your token code is go to your bot folder, okay. Now go to your config.json. Now as you can see, you can see my token code right there. Now, what I am going to do, okay, is that I'm going to delete this. Okay. I'm going to delete this. And now leave it there. Empty. Now I'm going to go to my bot. Now, now the bot that I'm going to be putting online is the test bot server. Copy your token code, go back to repel it, and now when you're in here, go to the side over here, okay, but before you do go to the side, make sure you go to your index.js, and then, after that, go over here, okay, now press enter once, press enter again, and go back up. Now the reason why we are doing this because your token code has to be under client collection. Now, go over here on a side and go to secrets environment. Now your key code is token, so type token. And your value is your token code. Paste it right there. Now over here it says add new secret. Click on add new secret and now it's right over there. Scroll down and now insert right over here. Now that is your token code and now your token code is actually hidden inside here. Go over here to your files and now all you got to do now next is just make it more pretty okay and now bring it back up then go to your go there and now there you go. Now over here it says process.env.token. So over here, okay, you need to copy this line. 
process.env token. So over here, go back to your client.login and now delete this, okay? Delete all this. Now, type in process dot uh, sorry guys dot env yeah, dot env dot token and that's all you gotta do make sure it is the same as that up here, okay now once you have done that, you're pretty much done so as you can see inside my config.json, the token code is gone and it's not there. So let's test this out to see if this works. Now remember, my testbot server has to be online inside my Discord server, which is this one over here. As you can see, my testbot server is offline. So let's try this out. All you gotta do is run your bot. And as you can see, it is online, ready to go. So let's go to our Discord server. Now as you can see, that our bot is now appearing online. So let's go and test this out, okay? Uh, let's go over here, okay? So, let's do the normal ping command. And that works. See you guys, it works. Even though I don't have my token code inside my config.json so it actually works guys so that is how you hide your token code so i will be uploading more discord tutorials and even gta v pc modeling tutorials so stay tuned for that and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out <music>